Good day, mates. Well, let me just pull the curtains, see if the light changes significantly. Did it? I don't know. You can be the judge of that. Well, just thought I'd show you the first, this current unit that you all pick weapons for. Like real gents and possibly women. Probably not. Maybe. Who knows? They do exist, they tell me. But yeah, here he is in the middle of his unit. Um, I don't know about you guys. I don't know about the base. His big base. I'm seriously considering taking him off it and putting him on a small base. Because, um... It just... It's just such a weird base. <laughs> so, I'm really not too sure about it, to be honest with you. If I can get it so I can take him off the small base and put him on the big base, then certainly I'll keep it. But, I don't know. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Anyway, here they are all up. All sprayed up. I've converted them to some nice little heads, but I'm not going to show you all them. I'll show you them when they're all assembled, which will be when they're done, because... I might show you some of the process, how I paint the capes and stuff like that. I like to go with multicoloured capes, because, um... Taste the rainbow. Um, so... Yes, yeah, I tailed off there. These guys are going to be a lot cleaner than the last Chaos Warriors, because they're Zeech, and I want them to kind of match the knights, so... I think I'm going to go for the white faces. No, actually, no, I'm not doing that, am I? I'm doing Undivided. Because this is um, this is literally Harry the Hammer, so I want it to be walking around the wastelands of his undivided warband, killing fools. And I like the idea of him being a mercenary, as I said last time. So that's what I'm going to do. So they're not going to be as dirty as the tor the corn the torn the corn guys. You know, all bloody and rusty and stuff because they don't give a shit. Um, not that all corn guys are like that. But some corn guys look after their stuff. But these guys, maybe I'll go for a bit of black and gold. I know it's a little bit generic, I guess, but. I don't really paint that very much, so it'd be interesting. I suppose they will have to match Harry, so I'll, maybe I'll do him first, and then they'll match him to an extent. If you guys know any great paint schemes, if you look at them on Google Images, there are some really nice ones. If you guys know any really nice ones that you think I should do, then yeah, go for it. Give us a shout. Yeah, I just thought I'd show you how work on Sauron is going anyway. As I said, I would be changing his colour scheme. Are you gonna go? Are you gonna go? Look at that. Oh, it was going so well. It's going so well, and Bertram there has just ruined everything. I remember you, Bertram. Probably. I doubt it. That wasn't Bertram that time. He learned his lesson. And the screen hasn't broken, which is always a positive thing. Anyway, here is Sauron. He miraculously fits on the screen. Isn't that amazing, eh? But are we focused on Sauron? I think we are. I can't really tell. So yeah, I haven't done a great deal. I've um I've started washing and stuff like that. I did a bit of a binge paint on him. That's what I call them. And I just I should be painting several different models really for a sort of a project. And I end up just having one model I love and I'm just binging it maybe all night or something like that. I love doing that. I don't ever feel bad about it either because I just feel like it's worth it because I always get great results from doing that. So at the moment you can see he's got his white face in. I'm thinking about doing this sort of holy bit here. I tried doing it in bright colours, but it just detracted too much from the face and centred your eye on just the middle of the model, which I think is stupid. So I'm thinking about doing it like shut, like just empty black, like it's a void. Or something like that. His cloak is red, to match him with all the others. I really like it. I think uh, it's almost a shame no one's ever done this before, in my opinion. Here I go again, all modest and shit. But I just think it's beautiful. It's such a shame this cape is always black because it's so, so nice. The way it all comes up under here. And the inside done in flesh tones because I like flayed flesh and everything because I think flesh is one of the coolest things to paint. Skin. Yeah, I know, I'm weird. But yeah, seriously, flesh skin, flayed skin is such a nice thing to paint. You can put so many colours in it, like bruising and blood. And, well, not normally blood. Maybe there's some corn dudes, I guess, but i show you how I've been doing with this guy, actually, because this guy, his shoe, I'm, I'm quite pleased with how that's coming out. It's got quite a bit of light on it, really. It's a shame. Can I block that out? Can I block that out? Yeah, it's gives you a better idea, I think. But I am very, very pleased with how it's coming out. Very pleased indeed. Yeah, I don't know, this camera doesn't really go in that far, which is a shame. The focus just isn't that high. And the camera falls over. I have got a camera stand coming. It's not a great one, but it'll do the job, hopefully. Yeah, it doesn't focus very well. 
but I really, really, really love him doing this. It's really enjoyable. The bone, as you can see, isn't down on this guy, but I've got the bone in progress on a lot of them. <sighs> the chariot's got so much bone on it that I painted on it. There's no bones left. Yeah. So yeah, we're we're quite we're getting along there. It's some flesh on him as well. I like I put flesh on bloody everything. But yeah, I'm very very pleased with how it's coming along. I'm really enjoying it. So as you sour on his pretty early days at the moment, but he's very enjoyable too. But I hope you can get the impression that I ooh, don't do that. <sighs> I did that once before in another video. Anyways, I've rambled on quite long enough. Hopefully you'll be seeing some of these guys soon, but they are not. Next on the priority list, the knights and the lord that you see there, they are next. Sauron might be doing it just because I fucking love painting that model. Yep, the chariot is a pain in the arse. It's so big and there's so many big areas and colour, but it'll be worth it. So hopefully I'll have a showcase of them all done sometime not too far in the future. Thanks guys, see you later.